Hey world, how you doing? Um, just wondered if, uh, just thought I'd put up a video of uh, if anybody's wondering what a thermostatic expansion valve looks like. Uh, this is a TXV for a brand new TXV for a four ton um, air conditioning evaporator or heat pump uh, evaporator. Uh, this is good for four tons, three and a half to four tons, uh, three and a half or four ton, four tons, uh, air conditioning or heat pump. Uh, it's a nice little expansion valve for you guys that, uh, would like to get a little more performance out of the system. Uh, this is a nice looking valve. Uh, just, uh, haven't seen one this nice. Thought I'd make a video on it. Um, we have, uh, Dan, it's, it's a Dan Foss made in Mexico and there's your part numbers um, and as you can read uh, this TR6 kit contains the following items universal TR6 TXV with adjustable soup adjustable superheat so that's nice um, and 3 8 by 3 8 um, sweat connections um, 35 inch piece of foam insulation, adjustable bulb strap, female chatliff style fitting, female aeroquip style fitting, uh, installation instructions. Okay, so, see what she looks like in here. Pretty cool. This is your uh, full package. It's going to have uh, your, what did they say, 35? What did that thing say? 35 inches, so this is going to have your three feet of uh, foam tape in here and your bulb, your adapters, your from for your uh, changing it over from the uh, pistons. If you guys are using pistons, there's adapter stuff it looks like in here. I'm not going to open it up because I don't want to. Uh, expose any of it to the atmosphere. Right now it's all closed up and nice and uh, don't know if I'll be keeping this valve on the truck. Um, got a job tomorrow maybe. Uh, it's supposed to happen but haven't heard back from the guys so hoping it's gonna happen still. Um, anyways, so you got Dan Foss flare assembly fitting. Um, it's going to have your bulb uh, bulb strap in here. Um, so that's going to be in there. And now we have expansion valve. So we got uh, Dan Foss uses the stainless steel bulbs um, right here. Damn, I wish I could turn on the video, the light, while I'm running it. Um, if I can get some more light in here. Okay, anyway, so <coughs> let's <coughs> have a little look at what this expansion valve looks like in here. See if I can pop this out and have a little teeny look at it. So this is a uh, very cool, heavy copper, um, and there's your connections and they're capped which is nice to keep any oxidation from happening inside the expansion valve or inside the copper keeps any dirt out um, so there's also an arrow as you will notice the arrow is the liquid line goes on the inlet of that expansion valve and the liquid, as you know, would flow through the expansion valve and come out the other side. And so that would be how you would put it in for cooling. Um, uh, that would be you would your your liquid line would go in the right side there. And since it's a heat pump, it's going to flow both directions, so it'll open up. Uh, in the heating mode. So refrigerant will travel the other way. So 
um, which is cool. Uh, stainless steel power head looks like on there, all welded by a fancy machine. And uh, let's see. We got adjustment on the bottom is going to be your, for your super heat, the nut and everything, all brass, heavy brass valve, which is very cool. And so it's a balanced port valve with external equalization right here. So this is nice, and this is for R410A, as you can see, hopefully. I'm trying to focus it on there. There we go, that's pretty damn clear. So let me get see if I can get some more light, some light and shadows going here. Let's see if I can do this a little better, there we go. So we got R410A, 4.00 tons, uh, TR6, and we got our uh, temperature range. from plus 15 to a plus 60 evaporator uh, temperature. So we got a maximum work, MWP on the bottom, maximum working pressure of 660 pounds pressure. MWP, maximum working pressure, 660. PSIG is pounds per square inch gauge that means by using a gauge um, it's also okay it's about all the stuff that I can read or UL listed refrigerant valve okay made in Mexico Danfoss. There we go. Our brothers and sisters down in Mexico. Our neighbors, rather, I should say. For uh, Since I'm in California. Oh, well, and there's... Let's see if I can... Huh, iPhone don't want to focus. That's a bad thing. Oh, there we go. Hmm. This is my iPhone 6S Plus, and it's only... One year gonna be one year old to next month, so oh man, it's got a so anyway. So there's the side 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 of the box. System capacity three and a half to four tons. So there's all. And it's a sweat in valve, um, and uh, yeah, as you saw. So. That's pretty cool. Just thought I'd do a little video on an expansion valve. What an expansion valve looks like for the world out there. And what's what. So, alright. Uh, thanks for watch. Thanks. Thanks for watching. And click like on the video, hopefully. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Alright. Uh, take care.